Welcome to the NOAS dashboard. The purpose of NOAS is to provide a management overview of the current status of water in South Africa using consolidated data from the Department of Water and Sanitation. It assists managers to answer questions like what is the current storage status in South Africa and what is the current status of wastewater treatment in South Africa. To highlight the usefulness of NOAS, we're going to be using the Surface Water Storage Dashboard just to show some of the features. On the left hand side, you can see an interactive map. On the right hand side, you can see a table. And at the bottom, you can see a schematic, which is redrawn based on what you see on the left hand side. So being the default view, you can see the surface water storage on a national scale is currently sitting at 54%. These percentile bands are determined using historical statistics of all the dams in South Africa. So on a national scale, currently we're sitting at 54% storage capacity versus the same time last year at 81%. We can view this at a full screen as well, if you like. So if we had to zoom into the Pongola and Timvuma WMA, for example, by clicking on it, we can get an immediate overview of the storage capacity in that catchment. So if we had to zoom in to a particular dam and go back to our previous view, you can select a dam and as you select a dam, the information on the right hand side becomes updated. So here on the map you can see there's various stats for each dam, for example Midmar, currently sitting at 46%. And we can see that in the schematic here, which in this case, based on historical statistics, is sitting at a very low level compared to the same time last year at 75% at a low level. This is due to the current severe drought being experienced in KZN, as well as most other parts of South Africa. If we go back to our home view, you can see by clicking on other areas, the schematic gets updated as soon as you click on them. So this can help managers identify the more problematic WMAs. And as you click on these WMAs, the different dams in the WMA get highlighted in this table. And you can get an immediate overview based on these historical statistics by this color coding system, which dams are in more crisis mode than others. The legend on the left here indicates the colour coding of these different bar graphs, which are the dam levels, and the triangles indicate the amount of sedimentation of the different dams. For each dashboard, there is an information button which tells you more about that dashboard. These schematics are very useful for water managers to use for various reports, as they are able to download them in different formats where they can insert an image file into various reports and they are interactive so you can choose which items to include and which to exclude. The default is to include them all but the manager has an option which ones to exclude and which to include. Thank you for listening.